When I came in 2004, one of the concerns we had at the institution was the visibility of Southern in the community and recognizing the importance that Southern could have as a resource to Southern Connecticut and wanting to put Southern in Southern Connecticut. We made community engagement one of our core values and emphasized intentionally work by the students, the faculty, and the staff out in the community with the hope of not only bringing the community to Southern, but now Southern to the community. Southern's community outreach takes on many forms, from individualized programs for those in need to community-wide initiatives that bring in residents from all over the state. Celebrating its 10th year, Southern's Girls and Women in Sports Day draws young girls from all over Connecticut for a day of fun and fitness with our student athletes. Uh, we're very excited. We have about uh, just about 200 um, little girls uh, from over 35 cities and towns from the state of Connecticut, and this is the largest group we've had in about a decade. Girls and Women in Sports Day is an outreach effort. It's our athletic department engaging and reaching out to the campus community and to the external community. And it's an opportunity for the community to engage with Southern Connecticut. During Girls and Women in Sports Day, girls ranging in age from 7 to 13 have a chance to participate in a wide range of sports and activities they normally wouldn't be exposed to. This, along with the mentorship and coaching from our athletes, encourages both fitness and a sense of accomplishment. It's really a day for fun, fitness, and to uh, engage with uh, our student athletes. Southern Center for Adaptive Technology provides assistive services for individuals with a range of disabilities. The center is one of just two of its kind in the state of Connecticut. We actually have a three-part mission, so we provide services for students with disabilities from Southern. We provide services for the students in the education programs at Southern and we also provide services for the community. One of the center's clients is Chapel Haven, a post-secondary special education school that provides a variety of services for the disabled. About 16 Chapel Haven students are now attending Southern. And students generally come to access a program called Kurzweil 3000, which is a text-to-speech reader. It helps manage and organize information that can be found in textbooks. The services at the CAT Lab are fantastic because they enable my students to access the curriculum, their curriculum for their classes. Southern Center for Communication Disorders provides a wide range of clinical services for individuals with hearing or speech-related needs, as well as valuable practical training for graduate students in speech-language pathology. On an average week, we, we see between 110 and 130 people who come through our doors. Uh, those are children and adults uh, who present with a, a wide variety of communication needs. Uh, some of the folks have hearing impairments, some of the children are um, developing language skills or speech skills. For young children, having uh, intact and robust communication skills is the key for successful participation in a school program, for uh, learning to develop social relationships and being uh, sort of active members of their family and their community. I believe my daughter looks at the clinician like a mentor as well. Uh, Lindsay is now 14 and most of the clinicians are younger women um, at the bachelor's level or graduate level and she identifies with them. So not only is she acquiring um, the speech and language skills, she's also developing um, mature, uh, nurturing relationships with these women. And it's just uh, an unbelievable experience for her. Southern Center for Communication Disorders also includes the audiology clinic, which serves patients from all walks of life with varying conditions of hearing loss. Here at the audiology clinic, we see patients from about 18 months of age up until about 100. They come from all over. We have people coming from Massachusetts and from New York, but I'd say primarily um, Connecticut, all over Connecticut. The northern part, um, we saw a patient this morning, Mr. Hirsch, who probably traveled an hour or so to come see us. They've given me terrific service, and I'm on my second set of hearing aids right now, and I have no complaints. It's just not like some more commercial operations where everything is so businesslike, where here it isn't. Along with their hearing aids, clinic patients such as Mr. Hirsch receive a complete audiological evaluation. One thing that we think is real important is that the person understand the hearing loss and the ramifications of the hearing loss in their life. 
because it's really not just about the clinical picture, it's really about how it affects them and how it affects the people around them. Southern Center for Excellence in Mathematics and Science was created to boost the number and quality of students pursuing careers in science, math, engineering, and technology. The National Science Foundation recently awarded the center a $600,000 grant to offer full four-year scholarships to 26 outstanding high school or community college students studying in these fields. Well, there's a critical need out in the community and in, in industry these days for people who have math science backgrounds. Uh, and a lot of students don't go into those areas for a variety of reasons. Many women don't go into those areas because that's been a stereotyped area for women. Uh, a lot of minorities don't go into that area because it was always thought that minorities weren't good in science. So this is a program which is going to have a special outreach to those communities in particular. Each year, Southern's Literacy Lab provides more than 100 families from across Connecticut with pro bono literacy screening, diagnostic, and reading tutorial services. Our clientele is really school-age children, so we'll take children from grades 1 through 12, and we develop real individualized interventions to work on deficit skill areas, everything from, you know, phonic skills all the way up through more comprehension, vocabulary-based skills. Just working with a student hands-on, it's definitely that hands-on experience that it's, you can read so much in a text, but when you go and apply it to a classroom and getting, gaining that one-on-one -on -one experience is definitely different than being in the classroom with 17 to 20 kids. It's wonderful to have a resource in the community is right here in the general New Haven area, so you have a lot of towns who can tap into the resources here, and parents can come in and say, I, I need to have some assistance, particularly for families who can't afford private evaluations. It can be very expensive and a hindrance. Uh, but the lab offers access to all people, uh, people with resources and people without resources. And it's been really wonderful. Southern has been host to New Haven's Chinese School for the last five years as part of a partnership to increase Asian cultural programming on campus. More than 260 students take Chinese language classes at the school every Sunday, as well as cultural offerings such as art, dance, and Chinese music. Everyone from uh, the students and the parents and the school leaders, we all feel very happy in this location. Not only the facility and the campus and the culture here, and, uh, and also our two school relationship. We're very happy to work together on this. We have a bigger space and uh, uh, the parents can involve uh, some uh, activities as well while the kids study Chinese. Southern and the Chinese School recently celebrated the Chinese New Year with a Year of the Tiger extravaganza at the Lyman Center for the Performing Arts. Southern's relationship with the Chinese School is part of a long and productive tradition of educational, cultural, and economic outreach for the betterment of the region and the state. Southern Connecticut State University has been a huge contributor uh, to the community at large. And we don't always find that. This is, uh, this is not that usual. So to have that kind of relationship where you have a university that contributes in that way uh, and becomes really a strong partner, not only with the business community, but the community at large, is a real credit. I'm delighted to have the relationship we do. In fact, on April 22nd, We'll be presenting our very, what I consider our very prestigious uh, Heritage Award to Southern Connecticut State University for the years of service uh, and the, really the years of quality service uh, to the community and the business community in particular. The concept of community engagement really is an intentional desire to ensure that the area of New Haven and the Southern Connecticut region is richer because Southern Connecticut is here and Southern Connecticut provides an educational outreach to our community that makes it more culturally vibrant and more economically viable.